I'll never stop getting tattoos because I'm passionate about it. And I end up eventually full black. I'll show you my favorite room. I'm really proud of this one because I built it. And I've bought everything. And this is my personal home gym. I've chosen to paint the, the wall in red because red gives you energy and stamina to, to go through your training. I'm fully covered from head to toe, literally. I have the sole of my feet, I have both of my palms, all of my genitals, things on my mouth. On my head, there is a snake with wings. Obviously the sole has been made as well. Twice, but it doesn't want to hold, so to hold on, on, on the skin, because it's a really tough skin. It's like tattooed a rock, basically. I think people find it fascinating, actually. Not strange, I think I'm different. Human has a tendency to be cautious with things that they don't understand or that they don't know. I guess it's natural for them to judge me at first sight. I used to, to teach karate, judo and kobudo basically was like 10 years ago, but I have kept training on a daily basis and I run after children in school, obviously. I'm half a school teacher, half a, like a comedian, professional model. At first, when they see me, children are afraid for some of them. The younger they are, the more afraid they will be. Uh, but, but then it goes away really fast. Uh, after a couple of minutes, they're okay. Actually, they're more surprised because I'm a male teacher. What I like the most about teaching is that you can mold this young mind and you can try to make them better person and to make them good adults and you can help them and help the world uh, being a better place. Bonjour. Bienvenue chez moi. En fait, on avait été le voir à Londres avec mon copain et quand il travaillait et il nous a emmené dans un coin calme et il m'a dit je t'avais parlé d'un projet et je vais te dire ce que c'est et là il a remonté ses manches comme ça et il avait fait les deux bras, les deux bras il avait commencé le deuxième et du coup moi je me, je me rappelle même plus, c'est mon copain qui m'a dit euh, que quand il nous a montré ses bras, euh, je me suis assise euh, au fond du fauteuil, <rire> j'étais scotchée, mais euh, après euh, il nous a expliqué un peu euh, son, son point de vue sur les tatouages et euh, bah, j'ai trouvé ça chouette qu'il fasse euh, ce qu'il avait envie, euh, que ça lui plaise. At first, when I started getting tattooed, I wanted half of my body, the left one, to be a mix between old school and rock and roll, and the other half to be a, like a Japanese inspiration one. I have spent around 40,000, 45,000 euros maybe. Yeah, I've done most of the work in, in, a, in a four years uh, period. But I'll do a second layer and then a third one, because I'm, I'm passionate about tattoos and I never want to stop getting tattooed, getting covered. I have thought about getting my eyeballs tattooed, but it's too fresh as a process to be confident in it. It might go really well, but I might lose sight, and it's, it would be bad because I really like uh, video games and television. So. I am in the final episode of uh, Sense8. Lana Wachowski, the director, talked to me for like 10 minutes. She's the director of Matrix as well which was one of my favorite movies when I was a teenager. So it was quite an honor. So the next steps about my tattoos are to, well, first, Romain will end the leg. He will, he will, done, he will do all of the shades uh, from the, uh, the hip to the toes. And then it will add a bit of white on my arm and on my leg as well to enhance the muscles uh, effect. Then I'm thinking about doing my tongue black, like a full black tongue. And I don't know, maybe I will add some lines on my belly.
the more I get tattooed, the happier I get, so it, it's the most important thing. I'm 33 now, I, I stop taking care of what people think. If, if they think that I'm like handsome and I'd, that it's cool, well, it's good, but I, I don't even hear the negative comments. If the people stare, and the people stare, I really don't know, and I really don't care. Like a full black body and cover everything, it's, it's completely possible. It's a new challenge. I, I will do eventually, because I, I, I don't want to stop getting tattooed, so layer after layer, I might be more than 100 person, because you can always get tattooed, you can always add more ink above the ink you already have. When, when you're passionate about something, uh, it's never too much. You can, you can if, if you are passionate about horse riding, you can never ride too much horses. Uh, and because I'm passionate about tattoos, as soon as it doesn't hurt me, as soon as it's, it's not bad for my health, well, I can keep going forever. I've had probably ooh, close to about 600 tattoos now. What are we doing today? Guys, we are covering my face tattoos and we're covering my neck tattoos. And we're going to surprise my partner and see what they think. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> Alrighty, so who am I? My name is Amber Luke. I'm 25 years old. I'm from Brisbane, Australia. I've had close to about 600 tattoos now, including my eyeball tattoos, uh, my tongue split, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. My journey has started when I was 16 years old, and that was when I was diagnosed with severe clinical depression. A lot of my tattoos have been like a sign of therapy. happened to me since the last time you guys filmed me. Wow, um, it's been a good like year, I think. I've gained a lot more tattoos, um, a lot more stretching in my ears. I actually punctured them quite recently and it just punctures the skin out of your ear, leaving a perfect circle. I only had really about three months worth of time to get in and do my tattooing before I even knew COVID was gonna hit. So I got this little band-aid on my nose, which is very cute. And then I decided to get bits in my legs done. Just small little gap fillers, so like in my arms behind here, there's a little pentagram and an upside down the Vathian cross. And that's um, a satanic symbol. So I'm a Satanist, so obviously everyone knows that. I like to promote that on my body. <laughs> it's all about respect. You know, you respect me, I respect you. Satanism, is a lot about individualism and not being afraid to express yourself and really putting yourself on show, you know, like what's the point of living a normal life? It's boring. My friend Penny is coming over this afternoon to help me cover all of my tattoos on my face and my neck. And then I'm going to surprise my partner Sam. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> so a little bit about my new boyfriend. He is absolutely amazing. He literally came into my life just randomly. It was through a friend of a friend. There's not anything that I do or say that scares him away. Yeah, this makeup's a tattoo makeup. So it's like specially formulated for tattoos to cover up tattoos and stuff. What I'm looking at doing after COVID finishes is a Brazilian butt lift. So I've gained that 10 kilos and they say, look, we're going to take the fat from these areas and inject it all into my buttocks. A lot of people will give me scrutiny for this because, you know, why not just go to the gym? Like, I'm lazy, man. I'm freaking lazy. I'm sorry, but I'd rather pay the 15 grand. If that makes me materialistic, then so be it. Oh. 
<laughs> how much have I spent on tattoos? My mom likes to cry every time I say this number. Uh, about fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, but that's just on tattoos. So my procedures, uh, such as my breast augmentation, my eyeball procedure, my tongue splitting, and my BBL, which is about to happen in a few months, I've spent about seventy grand on modifying my body. Oh, Sam's here. I'm gonna go grab him. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon? I don't know. It's terrible, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Am I concerned about him getting more body modifications? Not really. I support it. I let her do what she wants to do. Happy. Yeah, it makes her happy. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Look, I know it sounds very materialistic that I want to change myself and all this stuff, but imagine hating yourself so much that you couldn't even look in a mirror. You know, you couldn't step outside your house. It was just, it was horrific to live through. Sorry. Look at me. Holy dooly. <laughs> That's yeah, better. <laughs> I'm back to myself again. <laughs> I guess these days I'm just a different person to what I used to be. Life happens and, you know, you get judged. You know, at the end of the day, like, I'm a strong person and I can take it no matter what. I'm totally addicted to getting tattoos. I just like it. I'm really excited for today, for getting the last spot done. So we're here and I'm really nervous and excited. And I know it's gonna hurt like a lot. Yeah, this is my favorite picture of my parents and I actually got this one tattooed on me and this one I was eight years old so that's quite a bit of change and that's my daughter the oldest one and she actually looks exactly like me when I was young my name is Alexandra I'm a tattoo artist and the mom of three I basically have one tattoo all combined <laughs> everything is basically covered except for one place, which I'm gonna get down today. I feel more like me when my skin color is whatever I want it to be. It hurts so much every time. So that's one of the reasons I'm really excited for today, for getting the last spot done, so I don't have to do that anymore. But like, if you look at my skin, you can really tell that I'm, I'm really, really addicted to doing this. Oh my god, the reactions I get, they're like uh, mostly positive and people come to me and be like, oh my god, that's so risky, that's so, that's so cute, that's so like pretty or beautiful. But there are also people who don't know how to <laughs> behave. So I do get like a lot of negative reactions also. My fascination with tattoos because gone when I was like nine years old I guess. I saw my mom and dad have some tattoos. I decided to get my face tattooed when I was quite young but I really didn't have the balls to do that. So after I met my husband we just like kind of boost each other to do that. Yeah I'm not concerned about uh, Alexander getting more tattoos. As a tattooed couple, I think uh, most people think we're cool and badass and just like, oh my god, that's so brave. I don't consider us as anything more brave than any other person. So. <laughs> yeah, I would really, really like to get my eyeballs tattooed. 
the risk with eyeball tattooing is uh, basically you could get a uh, blowout so the ink would spread all over your face basically or you could lose your eyesight. So this is my transformation from about uh, 10 years back. More than 10 years actually. This is me when I was about 19, I guess. I'm gonna meet up with my mom. She's like the badass. And uh, she actually taught me how to live not caring about other people's opinions. What I think about her tattoos, I love them all. I, I can't see them. When I'm, when I'm looking at her, I, I look at my daughter, not those tattoos. And it's, it's very good if you, the first tattoo to your face is you write your mother here. Yeah. It, it helps a lot. <laughs> so, are you excited today, getting your last tattoo? Yeah, I'm, I'm really nervous. It's gonna hurt, I know that already. But yeah, really excited to get her done on my leg. So we are here and I'm really nervous and excited and I know it's going to hurt like a lot. I have to say, I don't like the feeling at all. I actually do not regret any tattoos I've got because they're like phases of my life, just like things I've done and I'm blacking out most of it. It's uh, like uh, getting a new canvas, so you can basically draw anything on it again. Once again, yay! I always wanted every part of me covered. I like to always look my best. I'm so used to being a size 6, very slim, and then I've put on 4 stone, being pregnant. And so looking at myself in this whole new, different way. Look! Very excited about my photo shoot tomorrow. I am basically going to capture me looking fabulous with my baby bump. I'm just going to be, you know, a queen for the day. I'm Becky Holt, I'm 33 years old and I'm a mum-to-be and a tattoo model. It's really difficult to count how many I've got in total. I like to say that I've got one big one. I'm literally covered from head to toe. There isn't any space left apart from my soles of my feet and the palms of my hands. When I was 15, I got my first tattoo of my ex-boyfriend's name tattooed across my vagina. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I'm so embarrassing. I was really wise when I was that age. But yeah, that's what I did. I've been modelling for 10 years. I started with hair and fashion and then quickly moved on to the more like alternative scene. I always wanted just to be fully covered. I just loved that whole, you know, standout look and to be different than everybody else. I always said, I'm not going to do my hands, I'm not going to do my throat, I'm never going to tattoo my face. And then I ran out of space. Now look at me. <laughs> I like to always look my best. I, um, I take a lot of pride in my appearance. I always have my nails done. I love plastic surgery, fillers. I love having nice hair. If I could get loads of work done, I 100% would. I've looked into tongue splitting. I really love it. 
I would like to have it done, but it's actually now illegal in this country. Um, I wouldn't go as far as having my eyeballs tattooed. Who knows what will happen when I've got a baby on the way. I've been shopping this week and bought us some more really cute. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Bits. So I am currently 29 weeks pregnant. I'm having a little girl. Look at that. I found out I was pregnant when I was living in Bali. Um, that's where the dad lived. We had a short romance, it lasted less than a month. He didn't speak the best English. I obviously don't speak Balinese. About a month or two later, I found out I was pregnant. And um, at first I was very scared. I'll be honest, it was not something that was ever part of my plan. Um, but now that I'm, you know, having a baby, I'm so excited. I'll just show you the other. Oh. Look at them. <laughs> oh, no. I have got my third maternity shoot and uh, hopefully I'll have some lovely images to remember my big beautiful bump with. I mean it's difficult, like, when I look in the mirror I don't feel as beautiful compared to when I do a photo shoot and then I see the result of the images that I've done. They make you just feel amazing. I suppose the edit you're really good as well. So I've just arrived in Birmingham today. I've got my photo shoot with Dollhouse Photography. I'm very excited. I can't wait to see what outfit she's got planned for me. Hi. Oh, look how cute it is. Look. I get a lot of people coming up to me saying, wow, you look amazing. Never seen somebody with so many tattoos. Uh, but I also get a lot of negative attention. I get people looking at me funny. Quite often, in fact, this week, a woman sat there saying, oh God, I can't believe she's done that to herself. But if they want to have an opinion, that's fine. I think they're just jealous. I don't get nervous for photo shoots. It just comes naturally to me. I just like being made to look glamorous and then doing the shoot. Missy made me feel amazing and uh, she always does, she's very good. Yes, we've shot together quite a few times. We haven't seen each other for a couple of years and uh, <laughs> it was lovely to shoot her and have the opportunity to uh, capture her pregnancy shoots. That is stunning. So I love the photos of them today and I just can't wait to share them with everybody. I absolutely love Becky's look. Her tattoos are just a visual treat. I can't stop looking at them. You only have to take one look at me to realise I'm not a boring person, I think. And I just think that my work speaks for itself. Like, you look at me and I'm head to toe covered in tattoos in sexy underwear. They look so good. I'm so yeah. happy. Thank you so much. Thank you. I cannot wait to pitch. Me too. I'm so excited. Hi, baby. Hi, sweetheart. I think I'm fabulous. <laughs> I look amazing. I am not afraid to blow my own trumpet. If I don't love myself, who's going to love me? I love the way I look. <laughs>